Yo everyone, my name is Falum and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna take a look at, or I'm gonna show you, how to set up three screens for your Acero Corsa, Corex, whatever. For Acero Corsa you need to, there will be some more steps in Content Manager, while as in Corex everything just runs perfectly smooth. So, here's how I did it. So, thing number one when you're having a triple monitor setup is you need to make sure that all of the three monitors are the same. I'm not running the same monitors, that's because I didn't really have the chance to do that and I don't really want to buy more screens while I already have like four. My other screen is right the right next to the TV and then four. So what I have done is this and this screen are plugged in via HDMI to my PC and this one is through a VGA. So how we do it is you go on the desktop, right click, NVIDIA control panel and wait for it to boot up because it's NVIDIA is being weird and it booted up here all right so what you want to do is sorry I'm filming this on my phone I just don't know how my filming software will deal with three monitors at once so I'm just doing it on my phone so while when you're here you want to press on that configure and it will uh, display these three numbers and here you can set up everything here you'll need to choose all three screens topology 1 by 3 and resolution here you need to find your resolution which is this one okay boom 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 here you can play with uh, bezels, which is this one. I have it set on minimum, so it feels the most smooth. And that's about it. Once you have done that, everything should be fine. You'll also be able to see all the different ports. For example, you can see that here, my Philips 241E is plugged into a VGA port, whilst my other screens are plugged in to an HDMI port. So, yeah that way you'll have three screens that will act and talk to each other as one big display so once you have done that what you will see is that the taskbar is on the middle screen and not on the others it's annoying and same thing goes with this if i do that for example it spans across the entire thing which is annoying if you do that boom does this so one small fix I have found is just do that and that works fine. All right, so uh, no. So that's how you set up triple screens. In CarX you don't need to do anything, um, but if something is wrong with your CarX and doesn't like to work, you go to graphics, you change screen resolution to that, you set it on full screen, of course, my left hand is shaky and that's because I have been training yesterday and working the entire day today, so I'm always exhausted. So yeah. And uh, something you'll need to figure out sort of by yourself, because everyone has a different setup. Your screens may be closer or bigger, whatever. Your FOV, your FOV is extremely important. How much you see inside the cabin or the cockpit. So you need to play around with that and find what is you need to play around with that and find what's the best for you i found out that 60 and 47 works the best for me that's what i use and that's what i recommend everyone else using that's using sort of the exact same setup my screen is like right to my reach i can touch it right here and uh, the same thing goes for this these ones you can touch these as well so that's how we set up triple screen monitor for Corex refreshing online. I'm also gonna make a tutorial for that in Acero Corsa, so stay tuned for that if you want triple monitors in Acero Corsa. All right, thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Cheers.